And thank you for watching Word From Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. I call this trip Off the Lid. This is episode 16. Okay, so it starts off like any other bus trip. I'm riding along and it's a rolling town hall and, you know, we're all driving along and it's, it's a really relaxed trip. It's a nice sunny day. Not too hot, not too cold, just a nice regular day. The bus not too packed, not too light, just a, you know, regular trip. So then this guy gets on the bus who looks kind of like a, a Brad Pitt on crack. <laughs> he's real skinny. He kind of looked like Brad Pitt. He said he had a skinnier nose than Brad Pitt. He had long, dirty, dishwater blonde hair. He like he was on drugs. He like he was on meth or crack or something. He's really bony. And real super, super tall, freakishly tall. So he gets on the bus and I said, how are you doing, sir? And he has a little grunt on his face and he gets down and sit down. A lot of people act that way and I don't trip. I just keep it pushing and stay in my lane and I just be cordial to air. I treat everybody the same. I've always been an easygoing driver. So he sits down and I got the uh, heater on because it's really, uh, I mean, not the heater on, the air conditioner uh, cuts on every once in a while. He sits way back there on the back of the bus, the very, very back of the bus on the engine. And when the air kicks on and the engine, and then when I accelerate, I can't hear what he's saying. But he's mumbling something as I drive along. And there's a federal law, and they encourage me to call out stops in English and Spanish. So I would be like, next, I lean into the mic, you know, I'm like, Next stop, 82nd Avenue, line 19. Siguiente parada, Avenida 82, la línea 19. You know, I'm doing my thing. He's back there, and I don't know what he's saying. It's like he's just... And then I, I sit at the light, and then I, and, and when I, I called out a stop at the light, and he says... My girlfriend is just as beautiful as you are. She should have this job. You shouldn't have this job. My girlfriend's just as beautiful as you are. She should have this job. And I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I look back. You know, I don't say nothing. I don't react. You know, he's not really talking to me. He's talking at me. And when people, when we, people talk at me, around me, or about me, I ignore it. You're not talking with me. You're talking to me, at me around me or about me, I ignore you unless you're talking with me directly. And he wasn't talking with me directly, but people kept getting up and moving away from where he was. And then he started punching the wall violently. I'd, I'd be like, next stop. And he, boom, speak English. Speak English. And I was like, oh my God. You know, and I wasn't gonna let him intimidate me though, y'all, and, and take me out of my element and make me stop calling out stop because it was my job to call out stops, but I was starting to consider it because he was he was getting really, really violent back there. So he kept hitting the, I, I, I pull off, I'm riding along. Yeah, my girlfriend's just as beautiful as you are. Black girl shouldn't have this job. I should have this job. Speak English! Speak English! Then he rings the bell. I'm like, thank you, God. He's getting off the bus. He rings the bell. He he stoops down. He looks. He looks this way. He looks that way. He's looking out the window. Not this stop. The next stop, stupid. He's standing there. I'm like, oh, my God. So I said, sir, okay, the next stop it is. So I, I pull off. You know, I'm looking. I pull the next stop. I said, no, I didn't say anything. And I go to the next stop. And then I let him uh, out. And he, uh, before he gets out, though, he violently starts kicking and punching the doors. Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Let me out! Open the door! And I said, if you hit the door before the green light comes on, it'll jam, before I, it'll jam up. But before I could finish that, he 
pushed the doors, opened up, and he got out, and there was this big garbage can that had decorative rock all over it. I don't know if you ever seen them downtown Portland or, or, or any, any city, really, but it's a big garbage can with decorative rock on it, and it had a big metal cylindrical heavy lid. He goes... He goes over to the garbage can, takes it over by the bus stop. After he, This is after he gets off the bus, mind you. He gets off the bus. He takes a few steps over to the big cylind uh, to the garbage can. He picks up this big cylindrical lid, and he, and oh, he's so strong. He hurls it like he's inside of a freaking, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, Olympics, you know how they have a discus throw? He hurls this big cylindrical metal heavy lid like a discus throw. He just goes, ah, and swings it around real hard. And it whirled like a frisbee. And it cracked the side of the window on the side of the bus. There's this beautiful young blonde headed lady sitting there with her little with her little headphones on, just rocking out, looking at a magazine or a newspaper, whatever she's looking at. And it said, boom, and the whole glass. Uh, 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 cracked up and some, some glass got on her. She went, uh, and I'm thinking, what drugs is she on? Because she just went, uh, and then got up and moved and then went sat somewhere else with you, dusted the glass off it. Went back to her music. I'm like, what album is this? You know? And, um, so I ended up, I ended up calling the police and, the police came. He he started walking up Martin Luther King. He got off at Martin Luther King. He started walking up Martin Luther King. The police came. They picked him up. And uh, whew, I ended up having to get another bus and write up the incident and stayed 45 minutes at the garage and didn't think nothing of it, right? Till about three months later, Maybe four, maybe, maybe six months out. It'd been more like six months. About six months later, he gets on the bus. It was a pack of people, though. I didn't see him. It was rainy. It was a big pack of people. And he had shaved, he had, he had, he had shaved his little mustache and his little beard that he had on. He had shaved it off and he had lost a whole lot of weight. He cut his hair and he had on cleaner looking clothes and he didn't look all uh, homeless and like a crackhead and meth addict or whatever the hell the drunk. I don't know what he was. He was looking really shabby that day, but he had uh, uh, he had lost some weight and he had on cleaner clothes and he had shaved and his hair was cut and everything. And uh, he gets on the bus. He says, "You, it's you." And he just grabbed me and hugged me. And I said, "Sir, let me go." And he let me go. And he had tears in his eyes. He said, "Thank you for not coming to court." My lawyer said, "If you had a came to court and cried and told the story of what happened, that they would have charged me with hate crimes." But I, I didn't get charged with hate crimes. But I did get probation, and, I, and I'm on patient, probation for two years. But that's okay. I hope that I'd see you again. I want to apologize, you, ma'am. That was not a snapshot of me at my best moment. I swear to God, I love black people. I don't. I don't know why I did you that way. I'm so sorry. I was I was high out of my mind that day, and I'm so sorry that I that I that I that I threw the the thing at the bus. And I'm please forgive me, ma'am. I'm so sorry. And I'm like this, right? Because <laughs> I'm like, why did you hug me? First of all, so I wanted to say, Wigga, why'd you hug me? <laughs> don't be hugging me. You don't know me like that. <laughs> OK, but it just goes to show that people is just like he said, sometimes they're on the bus, not sometimes more often than not. OK, they're on the bus and it's not a snapshot of them at their best moment. OK, and they do do crazy things and they get drunk and they be high and they be tweaking and they be acting all crazy, all funny style, all wild on the bus. And he was doing damage to the bus. OK. And uh, and he hugged me, and you know what? Every time I seen him after that, I seen him several times after that on the bus. And he'd get on the bus, and he was like the police on the bus. If somebody acted crazy on the bus, he was like, "Hey!" You know, he was he was like the police. I was like, "Okay." He was just a, turned out to be a beautiful person, actually. You know, he would talk about his troubles and stuff. And he told me that day, the day that he hugged me when he saw me again, he had told me that he was homeless when he he was homeless, and uh, and his girlfriend had left him. And so he was just going through all kind of stuff. And when he got on my bus, he was wilding out and acting crazy. And it happens. But it, I, I didn't hold a grudge. And I forgive because my motto was this. When the doors close, let them. Right? Let them. When the doors close, let them close. 
I let all my issues go. And I've written, I see people sometimes, they be like, oh my God, bus driver, I'm so sorry what I did the last time I was on the bus. I didn't mean, oh, I, I, oh I'm so, and, and I honestly don't recall what they did. I have no idea what they're talking about. And I'm like, okay, well, I accept your apology, but I just want to let you know. And no, I don't always tell them that, but there have been a few times where I don't, I, I really don't remember. And I've had people do worse on the bus. So, you know, keep, you know, it's cool. Thank you for your apology, but you know, I really don't remember. But yeah, and you shouldn't tell people that because then they, they get, I've had people get disappointed. They'd be like, what do you mean you don't remember? It was the, just last Saturday night. And then they get all crazy again. I'd be like, no, okay, now I remember. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for, for listening to episode 16, Off the Lid. It was really a hate crime because he was hating on me because I'm black. He kept talking about me being black and speaking English. Speak English. <laughs> he was banging the doors, banging the walls, kicking the bus, cussing. People were getting up, moving, getting off the bus. They was looking at him all crazy and things. He was just acting a fool on the bus and went to jail that day for his behavior. But when I seen him again, like I said, he was cool. He was apologetic and normal and... Uh, he wasn't, uh, he was really, really uh, remorseful is the word, remorseful. Thank you for watching episode 16 off the lid. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. Be a dear friend. Share the video. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to, to, to Edgy Wise Fool, please subscribe to this channel. And I'm through begging. See you on the next one. Peace.